I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. Good morning. How are y'all doing this morning? Hope you're doing good. Hope you had a great night rest and are bright-eyed and bushy-tailed this morning. Today's gift, today's spiritual gift is peace. In John 14, 27, Jesus said, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. The Greek word translated peace is the word irene. It is spelled E-I-R-E-N-E, -E, pronounced irene. It is the most often translated as peace, but it literally means prosperity also. So we see in this verse that we have a spiritual gift of peace given by Jesus. The question you might ask is, how is Jesus able to give peace? If you know that the Old Testament points to Jesus as Messiah, then it should be no surprise that he is the one prophesied about in Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6, which says, For unto us is a child born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of course, with this scripture being from the Old Testament, it is in Hebrew. The word translated peace is a word that you might be familiar with, Shalom. It means peace but it also means prosperity. So it is the same peace that is translated Irene in the New Testament. The verse tells us that Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Therefore, he is more than qualified to give the gift of peace. The word Irene occurs 92 times in the New Testament. What is interesting to me is that when Jesus appeared to his disciples after his crucifixion, the number of times that he said, Peace be unto you. Again, he is more than qualified to give peace. Paul lets the church of Rome know several times that God is a God of peace. In Romans 15 verse 13, he says, now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Several verses later in Romans 15.33 he says, Now the God of peace be with you all. Amen. In Romans 16.20 he says, And the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. The grace of our God, Jesus Christ, uh, excuse me, the grace of our Lord, Jesus Christ, be with you. Amen. So we know this verse, or this, this refers to Jesus because he was prophesied in Genesis chapter 3, verse 15, when God tells the serpent, Satan, and I will put enmity between thee and the woman and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Paul tells the church at Ephesus that Jesus is our peace. In Ephesians 2 verse 13 he says, But now is Christ Jesus, ye who sometimes were afar off, are made nigh by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace peace, who hath made both one and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us, having abolished in his flesh the enmity, that's the sin, 
even the law of commandments contained in ordinances, for to make himself, to make in himself of twain one new man, so making peace, and that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby, and came and preached peace to you which were afar off, and to them that were nigh, for through him we have both access by one Spirit unto the Father. I leave you with this blessing from Paul in Philippians chapter 4 verse 7. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Jesus Christ. Well, that wraps it up for today. Tomorrow we will look at the spiritual gift of whatever you ask. Be sure to click the red subscribe button below if you haven't already and let us pray. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, that you are a God of peace. Lord God, in the midst of everything that's going on in the world, Lord God, we don't have to worry. We don't have to be afraid, Lord God, because you are peace. And you will give us peace in the midst of everything that's going on, Father. So, Father, we just give you all the praise and the glory and the honor. We thank you for sending Jesus to die for us, to die for our sins, to die for our healings. And we thank you for the Holy Spirit that you say can come dwell with us and be in us and minister through us. We just thank you for this day. Thank you for your blessings. And Lord God, as, as many of us go to churches to fellowship with other believers, we ask that you would be with us and keep us safe, Lord God, on our trips, Lord God. And Father, that you would help us to learn to worship you in a way that would be pleasing to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Y'all have a great day.